All right, gold up about 16% in the past year, but our next guest says it's heading to $2,000 an ounce, possibly by the end of the year. Robert McEwen is the former head of Gold Corp and is now the chairman and CEO of U.S. Gold, Monera Andes. He joins us now with his perspective on the market. Welcome to you, Rob. Appreciate you coming on set today. Pleased to be on, Laurie. Okay, so first, you're overseeing two projects here. At least that's how I interpret it. So explain what your role is and, and what your goals are. Well, I'm CEO and chairman of uh, U.S. Gold and Monera Andes. U.S. Gold is exploring in Nevada and Mexico. We have a very high-grade silver discovery in Mexico, which we want to bring into production shortly. And Monera Andes is silver, gold, and copper. So we have a producing mine down there where we have a 49% interest plus uh, a huge copper deposit in the north of Argentina. You mentioned silver and copper. What's the market like for those commodities? We focus so much on gold, and of course we'll spend the bulk of our time on that, but just a quick comment on oh, those other metals. Silver is $16, $17 an ounce, and it's come off about a $6 bottom at the bottom of the cycle, and copper's come off $0.60 cents to about Why is it $3.40. important to continue, to continue to explore and mine for silver and copper as well as gold, which seems to get all the attention? Well, late. gold's a monetary metal, and silver's viewed as a monetary metal as well, so it should track gold. And copper is an industrial metal that it will be very important in the growth of Asia. All right, so Minera Andes exploring for gold, silver, copper, as you're telling us. In Argentina, it's produced 5 million ounces of silver and is in control of the, the huge, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, Los Azul copper deposit. How important compared to recent years or how much emphasis and resources are you putting toward mining and exploration right now? Uh, everything. Th these are... Uh, the Los Azules copper project uh, equates to about 42 pounds of copper to, uh, per share. Um, but th th it's all growing. Um, they're big projects and they'll be long life projects with lots of profitability. And how are you doing with discoveries? Excellent. In Mexico we have a silver discovery. It's one of the richest silver discoveries in Mexico right now. And it should be in production in about three years' time. And where are you exploring most for gold right now? Uh, Nevada and Mexico. Okay. And any, uh, have, you, have you struck gold? Well, we've got a couple million ounces in Nevada, and we're going to come out with an economic feasibility study at uh, the end of this quarter. Okay. So let's talk about the price of gold. You caught some attention by calling for 2000 bucks an ounce for the price of gold by the end of the year. What factors will drive gold to that price? Increasing debt levels by Western governments and just a, a printing of money to solve the political problems we have today. Okay, so your It's risks. a debasement of currency, Lori. Okay, what are your risks to, to your outlook? What uh, could possibly send gold lower from here? Which, by the way, is trading today, I can tell our viewers, at 1,088.80 cents an ounce. A higher dollar. And as people shift out of the euro into the dollar, uh, gold, silver, and all metals are quoted in U.S. dollar terms. So there'd be a temporary moment where people go into the dollar as a refuge, short-term refuge from a falling euro. All right. Well, thanks for the update on your business and for some uh, insight as to what you're looking at, how you uh, come to your outlook with the price of gold. Robert McEwen is the chairman and CEO of U.S. Gold, CEO of Monera Andes. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Laurie.